Uh. Ooh. All right. Trooper and Sergeant, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was a bit of a tough decision, but, uh, you know, I think it's uh, probably the best fit. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't want to be in the troopers? Yeah, you know, surprisingly, I uh, was going to stay with the uh, the LSPD, but, uh, you know, sometimes when the right opportunity arises, you think it's best for everybody, you're going to have to take that, you know? Uh, oh, yeah, 100%. Hmm. So, um, we had a brief conversation about, like, kind of the direction of Aegis, uh, specifically, like, with the storefronts and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to be rather transparent. There's a lot of things happening right now within the department. Um, a lot of people coming in, a lot of people getting out. So things have been pretty hectic on our end. Um, but I don't want that to stop us, uh, moving forward with, uh, you know, with the age of stuff. Um, yeah, no, understandable. I want to kind of get a better grasp of what is being looked for and what our timetable is looking like. Uh, that'll help me. That'll sort of help me uh, figure out when, what needs to get done by when and what exactly we're looking for. Um, specifically, we're looking for some agents right now, right? Um, yeah, we're looking for people to be part of the task force to then go around and, you know, check the storefronts, make sure they're in compliance with the regs. Uh, I know Eve was talking with turbo about getting a like information session on the guidelines to just go over hey these are what the regulations are these are the specialization yep. category uh even i also interviewed three people that we think would be a good fit i don't mm -hmm. know if you've worked with them before uh alex krakowski logan taylor and i believe archibald mccray was uh the three uh are they cops I think one of them was, and then one of them was P.D. Toe. Uh, possibly. I, I don't think I've met those three, and if I have, like, the name, uh, I probably don't know their name that well. Uh. Right. Um, <laughs> we asked. I don't think any of them have worked with you in the past. None mm -hmm. of them had any problems with you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, I, uh, I do think that leaning on... I, I've been thinking about this a lot, especially with the... Uh, where things are right now with PD. Because the last... Here's the reality of the matter. I'm just going to throw this on the table, right? Um, right? Things like... um, We can come in here and be like, look, we want these five officers, right, to be involved. However, ultimately, they are going... It, you're always going to have to deal with the politics of the police department, right? Uh, at any... Right point that individual may not be able to do what is necessary because they're getting pulled off things etc cetera, etc cetera. you, you kind of understand where i'm going with this uh yeah no and i mean at the end of the day the normal police work's always going to end up coming first yes absolutely um the, the one thing which i don't think is going to be an issue but i am a little uh, nervous about is uh someone gets brought into aegis and look, it goes without saying, the day this legislation came out, the word of ages came out, there's been a lot of horniness around uh, investigating it. Um, why, I don't know. There is no logical reason. <laughs> but uh, I want to limit headaches, right? Because that would just be a headache, right? It'd be like someone chewing on your fucking ankle unnecessarily um, oh yeah uh, that's the only thing I, I sort of worry about but I, I have some uh, names in mind uh, but right now their status in the police department is kind of a bit in question so uh, approaching the topic with said individuals is going to be a little rough right it's like hey you may be getting let go over there but would you serve well over here I don't want them thinking it's kind of like a um that's a conversation that needs to be on tactfully, right? Otherwise, they can come across like, right. hey, here's some, like, other shit. 
you know, it might come across a negative, uh, regardless of what the intention is. Um, okay. Right. And um, I mean, at the end of the day, the way that I see the task force running is, you know, you, you're the head of it. You take autonomy and, you know, bring on the people that you want to bring on. Don't bring on the people that you think you might have issues with. Yeah. Oh yeah, one thousand percent. So, how do where does uh, Bundy and Tessa fit into this? I'm trying to get a grasp because I want to make sure I'm not. You know, I fully understand it. Not that I really care how the structure looks like. It's more uh, for day to day operations. Uh, we were keeping them in mind for other task forces that would come up. Oh, we want people that we perfect. trust to head. Okay. You know. Oh, sorry, you're saying. Yeah, no, we, we have other task forces in mind that we're in the process of setting up. We want to get this one first. Uh, we have one that we think Bundy might be a good fit to run. And once we get that set up, then, we, you know, we have the conversation with him. We say, hey, you know, we're giving you this task force. If you want it, uh, you know, build up a team. We'll come with you with people as well. And, you know, we'll figure out where we go from there. Okay, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, none of that was really conveyed to me so we were sort of under the presumption we are working together which i imagine we would at some capacity but um you know uh okay that makes uh that makes a lot of sense okay all right <clears throat> with that said um when how do you want to go about like i, I want to bring in like only two people at first uh and then go from there um, how do you, how do you want to go about this? And I, I mostly want to say two because, you know, we might find out if the two go well, then let's get the third and then the fourth, you know what I mean? Instead of, uh, over encumbering ourselves before we're prepared. Yeah. Uh, what's your state ID? Cause I can just bring you on as a task force head now. Uh, it is one, two, three, three. So, yeah, you should be added as a task force head. You should be able to hire people in. Uh, if they do, they'd be under the role of task force member. Gotcha. Okay. And then I will double check with Eve. I'll figure out when that training session is. We're hoping to do some more interviews and have that probably at the end of the week. And then once that's done, we can just get up and running going with it. Oh, perfect. So I'll sort of pitch to two of the individuals um, and let them know to just kind of chill until that happens. Um, how does that sound? Yeah, that works for me. Uh, which two did you have in mind? Uh, Maya was one of them, though I don't know where her head's at. Look, um, I don't know where her head is at at the moment. Uh, the next was going to be Stonefinger. Primarily in the evenings. He's very good at staying. Stonefinger in the evenings, in the mornings, uh, Maya. Maya Mahmood. Yeah, no, I've uh, spoken with Maya briefly about the, um, you know, Lang assassination case. Mm -hmm. I guess that's still pending on the docket. Yeah, we may go for summary judgment, to be honest, because that shit is uh, old as balls now. It's, uh, sure. you know, it's, it's, I don't think anyone gives a shit about that case. I spoke to Lang about it yesterday. I was like, fuck it. Let's yeah. just go summary judgment. <clears throat> but yeah, no, Maya seems to have a, you know, good head. So I think that would be uh, a good choice. Mm. I don't know much about Stonefinger, but if you're vouching, then I'll back you up. Yeah. I, I trust both of them. Uh, I think they're good, like first picks, uh, and they're going to provide really good feedback, both of them, which, which I think is probably the most ideal because there are some other candidates I have in mind, but the feedback is would be the bigger concern, right? I trust them to right. go do what's necessary and come back and say, this is what's working and this is what's not working, whereas the others may just uh, stop doing it but not say that they're not interested, you know? Um, right. And, yeah, I mean, the feedback is definitely important because we want to make sure that this process, you know, works, and we want to make sure that people are telling us, hey, this is what works and what doesn't, so... Mm. I, I wholeheartedly agree that that is necessary. 
Um, <clears throat> and then kind of from there, uh, you know, things can kind of grow out. Um, and, and what I mean is then I think at that stage you can get some more, let's just say colorful people in place, people that you can trust, but at least there's someone else to oversee them. Right. Right. Um, like, uh, look, I'll throw an example, right? Brick would be an interesting guy to have in there, but would I trust Brick to not fuck off for a week, two weeks, and then, you know, wait until I'm like, hey, so how are things going? He's like, oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I was waiting for X, Y, and Z, but didn't remind you. Yeah, or the conversations that we were having was, yeah, Pred and Wrangler would be great choices eventually. We don't think at the start they are the right people for what we're trying to build right now. Mm-hmm. You need the bricklayers first, or the architects, so to speak. Um, Nakoda is another one, uh, which I'm strongly considering. Uh, he may co side and side with Maya. Uh, Nakoda's very good with feedback, and uh, he knows how to keep mums the word. Yo. Hey, Maya, it's Rune. Hey. Hey, Peach. Hey, um, I know what to do with this. Abdul gave me a tape. Um, uh,. He filmed BSK and Saints at a meeting together. Oh, good shit. And, can I can I talk to you at the tsunami meeting? I'm in a meeting right okay, now. Okay. It's, yep. In a meeting? Who are you in a meeting yep. with? Uh my dad. A dad? Who's your dad? Yeah. Oh, I can't say. He's a he's a drunken crackhead. Oh. Um yeah. drunken crackhead? Yeah. I got oh I gotta go God. though. Is Sorry, Dad. Oh no, don't hit okay. me, please. Okay, is he hitting oh! you? Oh my god, he's being I mean, I'm saying. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, Malcolm Nakota is the other one. Um, and then I think that sets like a pretty good foundation. And, and, and from there, um, be it other officers or be it other, uh, civilians, I would trust them to manage those individuals, uh, as necessary. Cause I think that in and of itself is going to be pretty momentous of a task. Agreed. And I think another thing that might be stalling things just a little bit, we're waiting on um, an application on the laptop to be able to help out with this. And I think oh. once that gets finished, I think that's definitely going to streamline the process once we get that up and running. Hell yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, so I know Lang was, uh, speaking with the people about that. I'm going to check in with him and see if there's any update there. Um, okay. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, I brought you in, uh, to Aegis as a task force head. You know, I trust your judgment with the people that you plan on bringing in. Uh, I can give you the names and state IDs of the three people that we've interviewed so far. You mm -hmm. can, you know, feel them out, see if they are a good fit. <laughs> that would be perfect. Well, that's good, because then we'd have six right there. <coughs> oh, that did not format well. Um, No, that's fine. This works for me. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, do you, should I wait to speak with them or should I, uh, wait for, uh, the green light? Um, you are welcome to speak to them, you know, see if they have a good head on their shoulders and okay. see if they are the type of people that you want to work with. Okay. Beautiful. And then what about, uh, uh, what about the other three in the P yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll start briefly talking to them. I won't go super deep. Um, actually, you know what? Those three, I can, I should be able to. The, the ones that I just mentioned, uh, you know, whatever happens, they'll be happy with. Like, I think, uh, if anything, they'll be excited. Um, so. Yeah, right. so, you know, start bringing on the people that you want to bring on. And then I'm going to double check with Eve and figure out when that session is going to be. It's going to be in the downstairs room. You've been in that meeting room, right? Uh, the big pre uh, presentation room? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to have a little seminar in there. Yeah. Perfect. 
we'll have the seminar in there. You know, we'll go through, hey, these are all the storefront guidelines. This is what you're, you know, supposed to be looking for when you do the investigations and when you go out and do the inspections. But otherwise, yeah, we hope to, we expect to have this running very, very soon. All right. Okay, fantastic. Uh, any questions for me or anything like that? Uh, no, and I was about to ask you the same. Do you have any questions for me? No, I'm, uh, no, I think I've got what I need. I'm pretty excited for this, to be honest. Um, yeah, me too. Um, we're still trying to figure out, but we do want everybody involved with this to get paid. We oh. just need to figure out the right structure that works. Um, I think for sake of the PD end of things, I think pushing a stipend through the commissioner's office is probably smart so you don't get in any legal trouble of us getting paid for work while on the job sort of thing, you know? Yeah, no, we would, uh, we'd work with the commissioner, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's coming out of the state account. Oh, makes sense. All right. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for your time, Tim. I appreciate it. Thank uh, you for swinging by. Anytime. All right. This is uh, this is gonna be really good. I'm excited as fuck for this Aegis shit, dude. What I like about it is like uh, you, I can tell that these guys. Uh, this is the most exciting shit. You know why? No politics. I think I'm mostly over politics. I'm going to be real with you. Um, I, 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 I just only had that realization now. I was like, man, an adult conversation. And it got done in 15 minutes. Holy fuck. Oh my God. Holy shit. That was so refreshing. Holy fuck. That was so refreshing, dude. Holy fuck. That was so refreshing. Holy shit. Chat. Oh my god. Bro. Is that what it feels like role playing without outside of the PD? Holy fuck. Oh my god, I feel my age today. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm not even joking, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro. Holy fuck. I think I just got spoiled, dude. I just like, in those 15 minutes, I realize how much I suffer on a daily basis. <laughs> I, I'm not even fucking kidding, dude. <laughs> 